Hey everyone and welcome back to another WordPress snippet video. Today we're going to walk through creating a new template. Uh, of all the snippets that we have in our series, I would say this one is probably one of the more important ones uh, just based on what it does, uh, but it's also the easiest one to implement, which makes also makes it my favorite too, so enjoy this one. Uh, why would we want to create a new template in the first place? Well, for obvious reasons, you know, we're going to want our pages to look a little differently across the site. You know, most of the time we do, you know, the home page is going to look a little different from our contact page, hopefully. And our contact page is different from the portfolio, portfolio different from the blog, etc. And we need an easy way to accommodate for this. So this snippet allows us uh, to make those changes easily. Uh, and the snippet actually is as is, is easy as putting it inside of the template file, pulling this file into the back end of WordPress, and we're done. Uh, and, and that's, again, that's what makes this one so easy. So I'm going to go ahead and start off by copying the snippet, and I'm going to leave out the PHP tags because most of the time they are there for us in our standard page template. And once we copy this one, we're going to go inside of our FTP and go into the root directory of our theme, and we're going to locate a file called page.php. This is your standard page template that your theme uses. You may also see that your theme has defined other templates that are custom templates for you. For example, this one has defined one called full width. So they've created a template specifically for one that doesn't probably involve a sidebar. It goes all the way across the page. Uh, we're not going to want to copy that one and, and base on that one. We're going to want to base it off of the standard, which is page.php. So I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this file and it'll create a copy of it. And we're going to just go ahead and rename that to something that we want to kind of work with today. So I'm going to go ahead and call it home page because in the example today, we're going to create a template that's specifically going to be used for our home page. All right. And so based from that home page, if I open up that file, we'll notice that we have PHP tags at the top. We have a Git header. Uh, and this is where we're going to go ahead and put the snippet that we've copied. Now, there's a couple of ways that you can actually do this one. Um, I've seen it where you have... Uh, this at the top where you just have a set of PHP tags and you can define the template name there uh, But there's if, if it's not there. There's no need to create extra tags that you know, obviously, you know, don't need to be there So we can go ahead and get rid of this and we can go ahead and paste uh, Paste what we had here inside of there And it'll be so easy so not just easy but clean Get that inside of there and so now we have defined a template name uh, in our in our template so instead of calling it this long name let's actually give it a name we're going to call it home page and we're going to save it so we now have a, a home page .php file in our theme uh, directory and so now we're going to go into the back end of wordpress and we're going to set up a page for our home pulling in that template that we just set up so I'm going to give it a title of home and I'm going to define this by going under page attributes and going under template and in this drop down list we should see the name of the one we just set up. There it is home page. So we're going to go and save this and so now this page is pulling in that specific template so any changes that we want to make to the home page or specific things that we want to bring into the home page we go and we edit through that specific template the homepage.php file. Again, if you go under all pages, you can easily update this uh, going through cl uh, quick edit and underneath the template, you can easily select and change them as you need to there too. So it gives you nice quick access to do that as well. So that's this snippet. Again, simple, easy. Uh, if you have any comments, please leave them down there. You can thumb up the video or you can subscribe. I would appreciate your subscription. Thank you guys so much and we'll see you guys on the next video.